Hey everybody, Addison Smith here with Everything Church Pro, and welcome to episode number eight of Hochma and Coffee. Now maybe you're just joining us and you're thinking, what in the world is Hochma? I've never heard of that before. Well, it's actually, you can see it right here, and it's the Hebrew word for wisdom, right? And the Bible says that this wisdom, it says it's the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, good understanding. It says go after wisdom, right? And in fact, if you were to read the, the lot of chapter eight, you're going to see how powerful wisdom is truly is. And it's my goal every single morning just to take one or two verses from Proverbs and give you a nugget of wisdom, something that you can use today to live a more wise life, the life that God always intended for you to live. And so if that sounds awesome, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos that drop at 5 a.m. Pacific every single morning for you. And uh, also, oh, actually, I'm not going to go into the giveaway things. If you don't know much about our giveaways, look at yesterday's video. I detail it out, what you need to do to make sure you enter to win the two different giveaways we're doing. But today, I just want to jump right in. I just want to jump right into the wisdom, okay? And we're in chapter number eight because it's December 8th. And I chose verses one through four as our daily verses for today. And it says this, Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of the high places, by the way in places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. And she says, Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. Many times we, we look around and wisdom seems elusive. I believe it's chapter 28 of Job, where Job is kind of taking us on this like virtual tour of the universe, a scavenger hunt for wisdom, and everybody's saying, I've heard of the fame of this Hochmah, but I have no idea where it is. And it can seem sometimes in our lives that wisdom is elusive, right? When it's coming down to choosing which job we should take, it's like, man, how come I don't know which road I should take? It feels like wisdom is elusive. When it comes down to choosing the spouse or choosing the house, wow, that rhymes. Uh, when it comes down to choose these big decisions, it can seem like wisdom is far off. But here in this chapter, it says it's not far off. In fact, wisdom is pursuing you. Wisdom is crying, the Bible says. It's shouting out its wisdom principles. And it just simply needs somebody to listen. You see, the problem is not with wisdom. The problem is with you and I. Oftentimes, we fall blind to wisdom. And we fall deaf to the calls of wisdom. And if we want wisdom, the Bible says it's crying. James chapter 1, verse 5, which is the verse on these mugs, it says that if any of you lack wisdom... Let him ask of God, which giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. That verse is so good. It says this, if you lack wisdom, which we all do, it says just ask of God, and he'll give you liberally, over abundantly, as if I had filled this coffee cup, which is filled with delicious coffee up, over abundantly. That's what it's talking about. And he says he won't chastise you. That's what upbraideth means. He won't chastise you. He won't reprimand you for coming to him and asking for wisdom. He says it will, he'll give it to you. And so wisdom is not elusive. Wisdom is crying, but can you hear it? So today's wisdom principle is this. God wants to give you wisdom. It's crying after you. Make sure today you keep your ears and eyes open for God's chokhmah. Well, I pray this was a blessing to you. If it was, make sure you leave that thumbs up button and share this with a friend who could use it as well and maybe be blessed by it. And I pray that today you live with chokhmah, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.